What's going on, everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here at DW's factory in Oxnard, California. And we have, I got some exclusive access to the showroom. And what's cool about being in this showroom is you get to see some very cool things. I've never seen this before. All their machine pedals just displayed here, silver, black, and blue. Those are fantastic pedals. They feel really great. And then some really cool kits and shells and all kinds of stuff, gold and platinum records all over the wall. It's just really fun to be in here. Mitch Mitchell's drum kit, DW Classics. Come on, Mitch Mitchell is what icon drummer. Jimi Hendrix, there's so many great things he's played on his kit. So cool. Digging all these icon snares, Earthman and Fire, the Black Page. And so on the Wrecking Crew, Fleetwood Mac, uh, Sound City, uh, Dave Grohl's is over there. Um, an almond kit. Love the almond drum kits. Really beautiful. This is the behemoth of all behemoths, of course, is Terry Bozio's. Now, he's got a couple different sizes. He, the one they called the jazz kit of all. <laughs> can you imagine? Uh, I, don't, I think this might be the big one. But there might even be one that's bigger than this. I'm not really sure. But um, it's just uh, he brought one just like this to Sweetwater a number of years back for our Gear Fest. And he, the guy really makes music with this kit. Um, I have sat behind this kit a couple of times, and it's, um, it's kind of hard to make music with. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over the velvet rope. Shh. Shh. They left us in here, right? <laughs> you can barely see through the cymbals. <laughs> and uh, touching the pedals, it's crazy. Yes. Wow. I wouldn't know what to do with all of these drums, although it would be fun to play them. Maybe I can one day. I don't know. Maybe I'll just turn the camera off and have a jam. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing. Now, check out all these. These are real road cases that Rush used for many, many years. And uh, just the history in these boxes alone is pretty awesome. And then Neil's kit. It's it's good that it's enclosed in glass and you can't get back there and touch it because it's just it shows off this fantastic kit from a fantastic drummer and um, it's a real cool display of what DW can do um, and the beauty and the drums that they can make and what they build and uh, from what I hear Neil wanted his kit displayed here in this room and it's fantastic looking. So that's kind of cool, you know? Just kind of get to hang out with all these cool pieces of gear at this wonderful drum company that makes wonderful gear. And uh, it's pretty cool. Cheers. Cheers.